Okay, class, that's the end of today. I'm hungry. Let's go grab lunch. Okay, let's go. Where to? Hmm, wanna eat Korean food? Hmm, I don't think I have the budget for that. Don't worry about that. I'll treat you alright. Come on, I'm hungry already. Oh, suit yourself. But remember, don't call any fried stuffs. It will only make you worse. By the way, do you have your pills with you? Yeah, yeah, alright. I got them in my bag. I'll never leave without medicines. By the way, you really sound like a mommy. <laughs> mommy? Mommy? Huh? Since when I sound like an old fart? <laughs> All the time. You... You... Catherine? Catherine? Catherine! Ah! <laughs> Wendy! It's alright, darling. It's alright. You're fine now. Take a deep breath slowly. Calm down. Daddy, how long have I been in the hospital? Where, where's Wendy? It, it's been two weeks, Catherine. Wendy, I believe she's attending classes now. She sent her regards to you. She wants you to rest well. I heard a gunshot in my dream and... And Wendy, she was with me. What happened? Don't be silly, Catherine. It was just a dream. Wendy's fine. Like I said, you need to calm down, right? Everything's fine. Have I ever lied to you? I'm sorry that... I'm sorry that I got you worried. You're my treasure. You must remember that. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Now you go to bed, clear your mind. I'll be back tonight. Thank you, Daddy. Good night, sweetheart. Hello. The person you called is unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. Why couldn't I reach Wendy? Hello. The person you called is unavailable. Maybe I should try calling Uncle David. He wouldn't know where she is. Hello, Catherine. Hi, Uncle David. How are you doing? Feeling better now? I'm fine. Stronger as ever. Hmm. Uncle David, do you know where is Wendy? I couldn't reach her on the phone. Catherine. Hello? Uncle David? Hello? What happened? Why is Uncle David behaving this way? I have to get to Wendy. I've got to get off from the hospital. William, can you send me to the campus now? But Catherine, sir asked me to stay here. And make sure you don't leave the hospital. I'm not some kind of prisoner. I have my freedom to go anywhere. Besides, it's only going to take a while. Please, William. Uh, you don't want me to walk to the campus, don't you? Alright, come on. Get in the car. Thank you so much, William. Do you know where's Wendy? I don't know. I didn't see her around lately. Catherine! Wendy, there you are. I was so worried about you. Me? I'm worried about you. Eric said he didn't see you around lately. I thought you have left the institute. Eric has always been such a jerk. I just had an argument with him. He's probably pissing me off. I called your dad. He sounds depressing. Oh yeah, my dad, he's sick. Quite badly, I would say. I urge him to take two days off. Oh, I felt sorry to disturb him. Please, send my regards to him. Sure. Come on, he must be hungry. McDonald's? Sure, let's go! There you are! Where have you been? Why didn't you answer my calls? Do you know how worried I was? I'm sorry, Dad. I don't want to stay at the hospital alone. It was so bored and it was torturing. And you weren't there with me. I went out to look for Wendy. We had a great time together. Wendy? 
it it can't be. She she's she's fine, and you're right. It was just a dream. The gunshot I heard probably just a mistake. That. That. What happened to you? Why are you taking it so hard? You have to let go, Catherine. You have to let go. What is this about, Dad? What are you trying to tell me? I don't understand. She's the only reason you're still alive, Catherine. Otherwise, you'll be dead. What are you hiding from me, Dad? Tell me. Tell me now. She's dead, Catherine. She's gone. <laughs> it's not funny, Dad. It's not funny at all. I saw Wendy just now. Nothing has happened to her. She's human. I can feel her. And we even held hands. No. 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 Catherine. Catherine. Speak to me, Catherine. What happened there? I, I couldn't remember. I can feel her pain. I can feel her agony. T tell me that. What happened to Wendy? Tell me. Do you remember when you collapsed and you were admitted to the hospital? The doctor said you were very weak. You might not even live. Catherine. 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 Catherine, my girl, thank God you're safe. H how do you feel? I I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry I got you worried. <laughs> Nonsense. How would I not worry? I'm your father, and fathers take good care of their child. He won't let anything happen to his girl. I love you, Dad. By the way, Where's Wendy? Oh, she's, she went back this morning, probably because she was too tired. She spent two nights looking after you. Wendy, if it's not her, I wouldn't even be here, breathing. Daddy, promise me get something for Wendy. All right, I promise you. Now you rest well, I'll go talk to the doctor. Thank you, Dad. Hello, Catherine. Are you feeling better right now? Hey, Wendy. I want to say thank you for everything. Thank you so much. I'm your friend, Catherine. We're like Jiminy, and friends help each other. I don't want to lose you, at least for now. <laughs> then hurry up. Drop by. I'm getting bored over here. I'm getting something for you. What do you prefer? Strawberries yogurt or strawberries milk? Milk? Definitely milk. Hello? Wendy? Wendy? Give me a bag! Give me a bag! Now! Okay! Take it! That's all I got! Wendy? What's going on, Wendy? I'm so sorry to hear about Wendy. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what to do. I just hope it didn't happen. I thought I... I thought I'd never lose her. I could still feel her inside me. I've got no one else, Richard. She's my only treasure. D David, I know this is a bad time to, to talk about this. 
But, but Catherine, my, my girl, sh she's dying and she needs a heart. The doctor said Wendy's heart would be perfect. What the hell are you talking about? I just lost my daughter, damn it! And you expect me to tear her? To butcher her? Do you even know what you're talking about? But, Catherine, she can't last long. I mean, you understand how it feels to lose your precious girl, don't you? I, I can't bear losing Catherine. I need her. I, I need your help. Please. Catherine needs your help. No, Dad. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I want Wendy to rest in peace. <laughs> she needs to be perfect. C Catherine, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I'm, I'm really sorry, but... Catherine... Wendy... She said... She wants to see you... Getting stronger. And she said she doesn't want to lose you. I have no idea that I'll say this, but... Take her heart. She would want you to have it. And at least you will carry a smile. Something that I can hold on to. God bless you, David. God bless you. I, I'll give you anything you want. Stop it, Richard. I'm taking nothing from you. If I do, I would be a monster. But I'm not. I'm just Wendy's father. A father who accepts no price to protect his daughter. No, Mr. David. No, I don't want it. Take good care of Catherine. I don't want it. That's what happened. The doctor said you might not remember everything after surgery. I had to hide the truth from you. I didn't want to see you trembling again. Wendy. Wendy. How could you lie to me? How could you ask Uncle David for this favour? Did you know how much he suffers losing Wendy? How could you? I'm sorry, Catherine. Forgive me, but I had no other choice. I saw the pain in David. I was... I was afraid to lose you. I love you. Daddy, you have done well. You have done a good job protecting me, saving me. But it's just too much. I couldn't forgive myself for Wendy. C Catherine! <coughs> Catherine! Wendy? Where are you? I miss you. Hi, Catherine. It has been a long time. Wendy, nice to have you here. We'll be together like... Like friends forever. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha